Okay, so I just finished up with week seven of P90X2, so I'm just going to give you an overview of the entire week. Uh, started the week with chest back and balance on Monday. Was able to do, I uh, brought my worksheets with me, I was able to do uh, 18 more push ups this week and six more pull ups. So definitely saw some improvement on Monday uh, with the uh, just getting better, uh, holding on to those st uh, stability balls, the uh, medicine balls and uh, just going for it. I had a lot of energy on Monday, I remember, and just uh, felt really good. We switched over our nutrition uh, a little bit. We were using NO Explode, uh, kind of gotten immune to that because I've used it for so long and I went back to the Beachbody product of energy and endurance. So it's giving, uh, giving me new uh, revitalized energy to get through my workouts. I, I feel real good as I'm going through my workouts and then I've also switched over back to uh, results and recovery. I've uh, been using that as my after workout recovery drink and that's been helping out a lot as well. It's got a lot of good stuff in it, proteins and, uh, and, and a little bit of creatine, just a little bit of creatine, not enough to put a bunch of water weight on you, which so I know a lot of people are worried about. But those two products together have helped me really recover this week. Uh, on day two, we did plyo side. I know that a lot of you have been following along. My calf's really been bothering me. It's getting so much better this, for whatever reason this week. Seen a ton of improvement in the calf. Being able to utilize it more and more, and I think it's just getting stronger and stronger now that I'm able to get onto it and jump a little bit higher. But plyo side was tough. 
got through it. Um, there was still a few moves that I couldn't do 100%, but uh, I'm getting there and uh, we'll be happy when I can get all the way there. But that is a huge cardio day and it absolutely uh, tears you up and kills you by the end of the day. Uh, X2 shoulders and arms on Wednesday. I was able to bump up my weights in a lot of those. So in week four of the strength series, um, I'm able to do uh, you know 30 pound bicep curls now, sticking with those throughout the entire workout, all three rounds where I've kind of been backing off on the last round, doing kickbacks with 20s and stuff, overhead uh, tricep pushes. I did 25, 25, and then the last round I said, let me see how many I can do with 30. I was doing 12 uh, reps of 25. So I thought it's time to try to bump up the weight. I was only able to do nine with the 30s in the last round, but um, you know, try to add a little bit of muscle anywhere from eight to 10 is a good number. So I was happy with that. Probably next week we'll try to just stick with the 30s through the whole thing and try to at least get eight for each set. Uh, probably start with 10, maybe go to nine, maybe go to eight, seeing how that goes. Yesterday, yoga, really needed it, felt fantastic was always glad to get my yoga in and uh, just all the stretching, it's getting better. I'm in nowhere near what uh, I really should be probably. I've got really bad hips when it comes to some of those moves. It's not that the hips hurt, it's just that they don't wanna do what some of the yoga moves are telling you you should be able to do. But uh, it's getting better. And when we first started with yoga, back at the beginning of X3, uh, almost five months ago now, I couldn't do half of it. Uh, so now I'm able to get through the routine, uh, you know, get into the positions pretty well. So happy with the yoga. And then today, the killer of all workouts, and I don't care, I had my E&E &E before I worked out, it still didn't help. I mean, it helps in the sense that I felt great for the first half. Man, that second half of this workout is a bear. I did add one pull up per round or pull per set today. And uh, that made a difference, obviously. Uh, I was able to do, um, ended up doing 12 extra pull-ups today than, when I didn't, than I did last week. Because when I did the chin pulls, I couldn't just finish with just one pull on the, on the uh, pull-up section. I had to do the two. It just made, made sense to me. So I, would, I did 12 on those two sets. So I was able to get to 112 pull-ups. Really happy with that. 12 extra pull-ups over last week. Um, definitely can't complain. I think another thing is, is my calves feeling so much better that it's making this workout so difficult. I was getting a little dizzy towards the end of it because uh, I'm able to get up in the air and jump, but I just kind of did with the guy. I was watching the guy on the DVD today and he was buckled over like the whole DVD, so I don't feel bad. Um, he's one of the, you know, supposedly one of the better guys at this routine. Tony put him in the video for a reason. And but I think it just goes to show you that I don't care what kind of shape you're in, these workouts in the strength phase will absolutely kill you. And I don't understand why we go to the gym over and over and over again, not knowing what we're doing, when we've got Tony Horton, a world-class trainer, who can train you in your own home or at your, uh, or at your gym. You can take your worksheets to the gym if you want to and try to keep in timing and get back and do the routines at the gym. But man, you've got a world-class trainer giving you a program that's going to get you in fantastic shape. Not sure why more people don't do it this way. And we have all the equipment here. We don't have to have the DVDs. We can just do whatever. But why would I? I've got, uh, I've got a trainer there every single day with me. So happy to have uh, Tony do, uh, doing that for us. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to do a little uh, fit club here. And uh, we're going to just... Uh, bring uh, some of our challengers in, some of the people who are even considering uh, doing some of the workout DVDs. And we're gonna do a, a light workout tomorrow, just a cardio workout, some T25 tomorrow. So uh, we probably will not um, put that on video, but it's just good to know that there's other people out there doing the programs, uh, getting fit, getting uh, into a healthy lifestyle. If you're looking for a coach, you're looking for somebody to help you out, um, just click on our link and you can uh, go buy one of the programs, get one of the programs, whether it be P90X2, P90X3 is a great program, 30 minutes a day, um, also T25, 25 minutes a day, Insanity. There really isn't a program that I've done with Beachbody that I went, eh, they're all fantastic and they all are good in their own way. So if you want some uh, suggestions on what to get, if you go to our website, Workout at Home Fitness, I'll put that link here too. 
Um, that's really my wife's website, but um, on there there's a section that you go, can go to and uh, write some comments and ask some questions. So we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But great workouts this week, seven weeks in, only five weeks to go. Feeling really good about it and uh, can't wait to see what the end results are. See you next week.